Hi, hey, welcome to SAP Tech Ed Live Barcelona. I'm Jim Spath. I'm here with Mikhail from uh, Mendix, eh? No, I'm not from Mendix. You I'm from SAP, actually. You're from SAP and you <laughs> are working in Mendix, right? I'm not working at Mendix, no. You know about Mendix? I know about Mendix, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the SAP low code with, with Mendix. Yes. I saw part of your demo earlier. Um, please tell me more about the distribution, the tool that you're using and, and showing off. Okay, so uh, it's called, very short, catchy name, SAP Cloud Platform Rapid Application Development by Mendix. So that is the official name, but I will use SAP RAD by Mendix from now on, just so we could finish on time. So it's a low-code development platform, um, and it's based on the Mendix tool and technology. And if you're not familiar with Mendix, Mendix is the leader in the high productivity and low-code platforms. But the um, main strength of this solution is the integration with SAP. So the really, you can enjoy the benefits of both Mendix and SAP Cloud Platform. So with SAP RAD by Mendix, you can develop applications much faster and using fewer resources. So for example, an average team of four can finish a project in, uh, in a few months. Um, and you can really unleash the collaboration between the business and the IT. Um, okay, yeah. from a classic SAP development standpoint, people would say ABAP, so they would develop their code in ABAP. What would be the overlap? Is there any touch points between ABAP and this tool, or is it non-ABAP? No, it's not ABAP, it's, it's non-code. So. Okay. Everything you do, you develop the application using um, like uh, visual tools and drag and drop and only configuration. So this really simplified the development process. So no ABAP, no, cool, no code, no UI5, it's not related to that. Okay, for me and my background as compiler user, something's going to generate the code that gets used. What are the systems that end up with the tool that users would then execute? Um, well, you develop the application in the Mendix tool and yes. then you deploy it with a single click of a button from directly from the Mendix portal or from the Mendix modeler into SAP Cloud Platform, the Cloud Foundry environment. Okay. And then you can enjoy all the benefits of SAP Cloud Platform and all the cloud resources are automatically provisioned for you and you can enjoy the uh, high availability, scalability, security, performance and all of that. So this has been a n new solution I've just heard about. Uh, what's the adoption rate? How many customers or what, wh where is it in use around the world? Yeah, so yeah, it's relatively new, um, relatively new solution. So last year at uh, Tech in Vegas, it was launched and it was presented in uh, Bjorn's keynote. I was uh, fortunate to be there, so I was very lucky and was very excited because I'm part of the team that actually launched this. Um, so it was very exciting. Um, and yeah, we already have a few a few customers, okay. and we are working hard to uh, get some more. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, I saw again part of your demonstration uh, er earlier, and uh, one of the topics I noticed was the desktop uh, offline client, as it were, or uh, the web model, web, web based or cloud based. What what is the preference? What what have you seen people picking? Because when I think of uh, simple solutions or quick deployment. I'm thinking cloud only, web based, and not a desktop client. And typically, uh, desktop clients have a maintenance cycle, security related. Yeah. So yeah. So Mendix have two versions, like you said. So the on-premise desktop modeler, and they also have a web modeler. But the web modeler um, was just recently out uh, out of beta, and it is currently not. Uh, does not contain all the SAP integration and all the cool features that we have as part of this integration. It will though, it's definitely uh, uh, in, in our plans. But you can use it, you can uh, actually, if you were in our lecture and we had a demo presenting, uh, we started to develop an application in the desktop modeler and then we continued in the web modeler just to add a few more features or a few more fixes. Um, and once you can uh, use it for the SAP integration, then that will be very cool because again it's web based you don't need to install anything and it's uh yeah. but it's time to adopt if someone came from a ABAB, SAP GUI background and they were transferred into this role 
Yeah. What's the typical time? Days, weeks, months uh, to get there is, happy? There is a learning curve, Yes. of course. Uh, yeah, but especially if you are used to code and writing code. And yeah, th th there is a learning curve. However, however um, once you pass that and you really um, control the, I don't know how to say it, the, the Mendix tool and, uh, and how to develop applications, and you can really shoot out application um, in a very high speed. Right. That's really the strength of this. So right. if you have a requirement to develop a lot of applications, then this is the tool for you. Uh, last question I had would be about debugging. Suppose something goes wrong with the deployed uh, Yeah, so the Mendix modeler have a capability of uh, debugging, sending a breakpoint, okay. um, and uh, yeah, okay. totally supported. Okay, I don't have anything else. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> Uh -huh. No, I'm too excited for that right now. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, one of the things I, I tell the people that I mentor is never pass up the opportunity to ask a question. Of okay, the I do have a question. Yes. So the number 10, are you yes. like the 10th mentor um, ever? I, I, uh, it's my birth date, and I picked it because I was an early user of the mentor program, an early member, and I was able to pick any number I wanted. So mentors pick their own number? The first 100, where there was a wiki, and we could pick our number. Oh wow! I didn't After know that. After that, then they went to three-digit numbers, and I'm I'm, I'm an older mentor. Ah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank I learned. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs>